Hi, Dave Taylor here again, and this time I want to talk about the Yeti Pro microphone from Blue Microphone. Now, you notice I got two of these. The reason is that there's a little bit of a hiccup in what Apple did with the latest version of Mac OS, El Capitan. And what's happened is that if you have an older one of these Yeti Pro microphones, then you probably noticed that, like, unfortunately, some other USB 2 devices, when you plug it into your iMac or your MacBook Pro or any other device that's running El Capitan that has a USB 3 port, that it doesn't actually talk properly to the USB 2 device anymore. So the characteristic that I saw with my old Yeti Pro was that I would plug it in and it would see the microphone, then the microphone would go away, then it would see the microphone, then the microphone would go away, and it became unusable. So I reached out to the Blue Microphone people, and here's what they told me. They told me that the more recent generation of their microphone actually should work fine. And here, let me show you the difference. I'll give you close-ups too. But on the old one, at the USB port, it only has a USB symbol. But on the newer microphones, it actually says the word USB on it too. And if you have one that has the word USB, you should be good to go. Failing that, then another way to solve the problem is to use a powered, <laughs> here we go, a powered USB connector. And this one's the Belkin, and this unfortunately has to plug into the wall. It's to do with the power levels on the USB itself. So even if it's not your microphone, if you have a printer or something that's not working, using a powered um, USB port can actually help. And this one, this is the Belkin four port powered USB. It's 17 bucks. It's not like it's this massive investment for you. And of course you get more USB connections out of it. So there's another plus. Anyway, that should solve the problem. The third possibility is that you can actually go ahead and back up to Yosemite. So the Yosemite version of Mac OS X actually works fine with USB 2 devices. Now you're thinking, well, I don't want to back up OS, I don't know that I need to buy or want to buy a powered hub and then have to deal with that, but I still love my Yeti, and I totally understand, they're really great microphones. So if your device is less than two years old, I would encourage you to reach out to Blue Microphone Support and talk to them about the problem. And if they're more than two years old, and what they've said is if you tried the powered USB and that still isn't remedying the problem, they still see this as an Apple issue and I think that they're reasonable. I think that's legit. Um, but they will work with you on that. So you can hit them up through the Blue Microphone website and like I said, ideally you get the newer one and the newer one solves the problem. Now there's also some stories, some stuff I've read online about some people got an update to El Capitan and that's alleviated the problem. All I know is <laughs> a couple of weeks ago when I went to plug in my Yeti Pro to do some podcasting, it didn't work and I was rather upset about that. So that's how this all came about and it's a, it's a complicated problem and this is sort of as we all march forward with progress and technology and USB-C and USB you know, 3.0 and all these new, more modern connections, then sometimes some of the older peripherals end up having a problem. So that's kind of what's going on here. So Dave Taylor and I hope that'll help you figure out what's going on with your own Yeti Pro or your other USB 2 devices on an L Capitan version, or who knows, the version after this might have the same problems, of a USB 2 device on a USB 3 plug on an Apple computer. Whew, that's a lot of stuff to think about. Anyway, hope this helps you out. Don't forget to check out the Blue Microphone support area. Uh, they actually gave me all this data, so this what I'm saying should be completely in line with where they are, hopefully. And I'll catch you in my next video.